Good oh, morning, Internet. I'm about to take my tie. Right out there. It doesn't blow west often here in Carolina. It's like northeast is the predominant winter wind. So, uh, let's take a kayak out there right now. Avoid the sandbars and we're good. Um, weak fish and tog. Beach replenishment stands really, really weird, man. Right, that was easy, though. I just pulled up on the first piece and I saw life instantly, so that's good. Boy, I can't wait for those big blues to show up. That's what I was just thinking, too. Hopefully soon. Do about a minute. Let's fish wake up. I think I found the weeks. Look like I'm on the screen. So that's cool. But let's just start with crab for a minute. Didn't get any hits on the jig. It's still kind of early. Give it like half an hour. God, I had a good hit. I know I did. Felt like a tog or something. Something like that. Maybe a redfish. Something. Good. It was good, whatever it was. I missed them. Might be a black drum. I guess. Could be a tog though. Hey man. Ourselves. To tog. Alright. Carolina Togs. He's looking where to go in life right now. It's a good tog, man. 20 incher. Not bad. On the board with the target, my friends. Uh, just in case you didn't know, Carolina tog. A couple, of, I asked around a little bit. It's kind of curious how big do they get. And it's not really, I mean, yeah, you could target them like I am. But it's not like you're going to pound on them all day. But for, oh no, I lost a piece of crap. Anyway. For a fishery for this time of year, it's kind of cool. All right, so I'm gonna fish inshore a little bit. Uh, you know, with the wind starting, I'm alone. One of those days again, and it's east, so it's not like I was on a hot bite either. Those weak fish, looks like they're not there today. Didn't really mark them, so I don't know. It's still my first year here, so I don't know. You know, I'm not patterned in, anything like that. We got a nice tog. Um, there was all those ringtails. I'm sure there was some drum there if I really stuck it out. Sinky sand. Not my friend. Alright, so we didn't catch too much yesterday afternoon on that afternoon trip. We got one nice largemouth bass. Pretty sure I got a striper. Is it? Yeah, it's a giant fish. Oh, that is a tank. Want to get him on the scale? It's probably like six, right? Uh, but not a whole lot doing. So right now we're gonna, we're just dropping off some mail and stuff. We're gonna head back out into the ocean, do a second round. Um, the surf hasn't built, it's just tight intervals. And uh, I think we're switching to a southeast pattern tomorrow. So we're gonna have some milder winds this afternoon, probably cloud cover, and then the weather's gonna take a dump. And then we got some better weather next week. So a couple more days of hanging out. Then I think we're going to be back to fishing more regularly. Not bad. A little lumpy. Uh, this morning it blew northeast pretty good. But overall it's not bad. Got the shrimp trawling fleet to my north. That's why I'm not striper fishing up in shore. It's just, it was a lot of rain. Is that blue and brown I'm gonna cross over right now? It's two, two different tides. All right, what up my bird friend? Pretty, pretty strong difference right there. Ah, 
not fighting much. The toad? Hey. A little tog action, huh? Pretty, uh, pretty quiet on the fight there, huh? Alright. Another decent tog. A couple of these guys. Tog season, huh? So really, I really don't have any weak fish today to catch, unfortunately. Um, so we gotta stick with what's biting. And it's probably just gonna be a couple tog. Uh, 55 degree water. We're gonna get making the most out of it. It's a pretty nice sheep, actually. I don't need to net him, but he ain't too bad. Pretty average sheep set around here for the winter. Probably an 18, 19 incher. So I blew his intestines out. Uh, guess you bring them up too fast, too aggressively. Shouldn't be too surprised when that happens. So, uh, so we got one sheep, one tog. A little better than the other day. So far, not too much better, but uh, I'm gonna hit the road soon. Well, I, don't, I really don't wanna land on the bottom of the out going too badly. We might not get that choice, we'll see. Landing might take a minute today. Um, just about wrapping it up. I mean, hitting a lot of different small pieces and shit. I'm not really catching anything, seeing much. Seeing lots of ringtails. So I learned a couple things, right? So I learned January was a pretty pretty good month for a winter month. Um, fishing was pretty good overall. Learned February wasn't that hot. And we'll see what March brings, man. I feel March might be kind of tough too overall, so we'll see how it all plays out. Feels like the wind turned back. It's turning southwest. Let's get out of here. Catch up in the kitchen. I'm supposed to cook these with 7-Up. Just hang out here for a second. Make sure I've got new issues coming in. Bottom of the outgoing tie, just that tight stuff. It's not big, it's just tight. Wheels in the car. Okay. I'm gonna go grab those. Thank you. Do you see a lot of dolphins? There's tons of them out there. Yeah. See any, uh, catch any decent sheep set? Yeah, we'll maybe watch one of yours. Really? Best eating fish out there, uh, Tom. All right, let's uh, pick back up after we're ready to press. Just got a piece of his butt right there. Cut that off, and tog it is. Okie dokie. So there's the tog, sheep's head. What's fun about what's I, what I do sometimes is I get some interesting ideas from different cultures. And this one is a popular thing to do with northern pike. And that's basically poaching your fish in 7-Up, which sounds interesting. And we'll try anything once. 
Well, I guess I'll just fill this up three quarters of the way with seven up. This is very bizarre, I'm not gonna lie, but we'll try it. I'm gonna add a little salt to it too. Uh, all right. Let's bring it to a boil and we'll add our fish. All right, so our seven up infused uh, tog and sheeps I just finished. It smells like a weird marshmallow in here. Let's find out. It's kind of, kind of, kind of unique, man. Oh boy. I don't know which one I just grabbed, but it won't take me long to figure it out. All right, let's see what the 7-Up does. Hmm. Uh, it's really not a gimmick. It gives a certain um, buoyancy or bounciness. So the first piece I had was definitely sheep's head. The second one was Todd. The 7-Up gives a a little bit of sweetness. I don't taste any of the other artificial flavors that comes with 7-Up, but there is a certain sweetness um, that comes out of it. And uh, it seems like it drains off the fish better than when you poach it in straight water. Like the fish doesn't retain the 7-Up in terms of uh, like an extra moisture. So you can thank anybody um, from Canada for that idea. Well, at least from coming back to you from me. Uh, that's where I got that inspiration from. I thought it was unique and a little bit different. And uh, yeah, Sheepshead, uh, Totog, Black Sea Bass, Grouper, any of those white flesh fish that'll work well with, um, you know, probably Triggerfish, uh, Triple Tail, Cobia. Cobia is probably a really good one, actually, because um, it's got a very firm texture. <laughs> Summer Projects, Cobia Boiled and 7-Up served with butter and the other thing is um, you really don't dress up the fish too much doing this um, you get a certain flavor coming out of you know one or two ingredients and that's it uh, we fish the usual stuff um, I use the bottom sweeper jigs I think I used a three-quarter ounce both days making the most of it um, still in that slower period but hey tog in February and March and winter months I'll take it all day thanks for watching guys